welcome. This is jQuery tutorial number eight, but part two on animations. Uh, so last time we set it up so when you click this button, it just slides our uh, div tag element over. Uh, so what I'm going to do here and is um, just to make things, since we're working on a small screen here, since I'm recording, I'm just going to write text and this text, whatever, just so it's a little bit smaller over here. So you can see it's it's uh, not as large as before because we have it uh, set to uh, the position absolute. It's uh, not just uh, expanding the full width of the screen. It's going based on the elements with inside it. And um, basically last time, uh, and it still works, it slides it over. Uh, the animate, what the animate function does in jQuery is that uh, it takes whatever CSS uh, styles you put inside here and it basically adds or subtracts the values of what they're at till it gets to what you set it. So we didn't set a left for the left side position of this element, so by default it should be zero. And what it does is it will continuously add until it gets to 250 pixels um, from whatever number it's at. So you can use this with all types of CSS. So instead of just left, there's a lot of options we can give it. We can give it height, width, and uh, uh, opacity, which is the, um, the, the, the visibility of it, how, how bright it is. Bright isn't right. I shouldn't say that, but hopefully you'll understand what I mean here. Um, writing that all in one line can be uh, look a little cluttered. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this down onto multiple lines. So... I'm just going to move this down here. I'll indent it so it is, looks clean. And uh, we're going to divide each line up with a comma. Now we could write this all on one line, like I said, and divide everything by commas, but we're going to do it like this. So we're going to move it to the left 250. That's what we already have it set to do. It starts at zero and it'll continuously add and animate it till it gets to 250. Um, Currently, its uh, opacity is at uh, 1, which is 100%. We're going to change that, so opacity. Uh, I spell everything right. Opacity. Uh, colon, and then the value for that. Currently, it's 1. We're going to set it to 0.5. We'll get it to half of its uh, current value. Don't forget our comma here. Next, we'll go with its width colon and then inside our quotations here we'll give it a, a value of we'll say 150 and don't forget px for pixels because I, I always forget that um, so when we refresh refresh this when we click this here this element should not only move to the left it should get wider although I don't know how wide it is now hopefully 150 is wider than what it's at and it will get uh, it will fade out to 50% of its opacity there we go it slid from where it was at to 150 pixels to the left it faded out to 50% of its opacity and it got wider we can also add in here height if we wanted so we can say height, colon, and then in quotations, uh, single quotes, and I put a semicolon there. Let's put a comma there. And I'm going to say here, uh, we'll make it really tall. We'll say 300. That's actually really big. Well, it should be double what this is. Uh, and uh, see, I almost forgot. I always forget to put pixels. Save that. Refresh it. Click here and it slides so now it's getting wider and larger wider wider and longer wider and taller there we go um, so that's a little bit more on how the animate uh, function works basically it's working we're passing it values for its style for its CSS and it will should add or subtract uh, until it gets to the current value so if its height is already a hundred it should um, add continuously until it gets to 300. Um, if it's at 300 and we set it to 100 in here, in fact, let's set this, I'm going to set this to 30. What's probably going to happen is the text within the, the element is probably going to pop out of the blue box. But just to give you an idea here, I save that, refresh this. So I don't know what the height is, but it certainly, I'm sure, is more than uh, 30. It's probably at least 100. So it should get smaller as it moves to the right. It's moving 
250 pixels from the left. There we go. As I said, yeah, that popped out just because I made it smaller. Uh, and the reason there's still space up here is because the padding we have set down here. Um, so it just basically looks at, is this value more or less? It's going to add or subtract until it gets to the value you set up here. So uh, that's it for this tutorial, just a little more on animation. Hope you're enjoying these jQuery tutorials. And once again, we're just building on till we get to the point where we start working on jQuery mobile, which will allow us to create uh, web-based applications that look like uh, mobile device applications. And then later on, we might package those into actual applications. So uh, I thank you for watching, and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description. If you like these tutorials, give it a like so that I know to continue doing these type of tutorials. Um, either way, I already have plans to do some, but uh, more my viewers like something, the more I will be likely to do it in the future. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my tutorials, and be sure to check out the entire jQuery playlist as well as other playlists on my website. Uh, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.